Good afternoon, YouTubers. Tucker here. And today I'm taking you guys along with Otis Boy here. See, there he is. Come on, boy. Over to Wolfstock. That's right down the bay before the Adorney Center. So let's head over there. So here we are, folks, walking through Old Town, heading towards the bay. There's the fountain there at the center of Old Town Eureka. I personally believe that Disneyland should hold a bi-yearly convention in this very spot right here. After all, Old Town Eureka, in many ways, is like Main Street USA at Disneyland, except these buildings here are bigger than the ones in Main Street USA. Enough to make Mickey and his gang Look, teeny tiny, yeah, teeny tiny, super small. <laughs> so, there's um, the ice cream shop as well as a meeting place right there. Just right over there. And from there, we'd be one step closer to Wolfstock at the bay. So, let's head over there. Otis can't wait to get there. So here's the Adorney Center right here. Wolfstock should be past this point. Oh, and if you were to see right here, that right there is the Carson Mansion or the Ingemar Club. That is in the Register of Historic Places here in California. Oh, and Old Town Eureka, as well, is in the National Register of Historic Places. There are so much historic places that the National Registry recognizes as historical here in California. So, if you wanted to visit historic places, California is the hot spot for it. So, let's head on over to Wolfstock. So, here we are, folks. All of this right here is wolf stock. Otis can't wait to take part in it. <laughs> yeah, let's head over there, boy. So here we are, folks, inside a wolf stock right here. Oh, <laughs> Otis is interacting with a few dogs now. Hey, come on, Otis. Whoa. Otis, Otis, easy boy. <laughs> yeah, Otis gets really excited seeing relative new faces and newcomers. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Otis. Come on, boy. Yeah, let's go and have some fun in here. So I purchased a whole bunch of tickets here, 22 total, and I'm going to use it so that me and Otis can have some fun. I think we're going to start with the lure course right here. This is where Otis is meant to chase something, possibly a rodent, but in this case we're dealing with a piece of thread. Hopefully Otis will ace this, because he is fast. I had to chase him a whole bunch of times. Oh, I want to see this dog. <laughs> to go. Let's do it. Here you are, Otis. You see that? Yeah. Otis, you see this right here? Come on. Get it, boy. <laughs> Otis. Otis. No, 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 no. No. No, Otis. Otis. <laughs> Come on. Get the lure. Yeah, get the lure. Well, that was the lure course. Otis almost got it at one point, but he was more interested in things that were happening in the surroundings. Hopefully, let's see what he can do, and hopefully do better at the agility course here, which is basically like <laughs> for dog shows and all. It would be perfect for Otis. What do you think, Otis? You want to try the agility course? Let's do that. Oh. Come on. 
Come on, Otis. Oh, you're all about it, huh? Yeah, jump. Oh, good. Nice one. Nice good jump, boy. boy. Oh, yeah, good, good jump, Otis. You really want it, but you might just get it out, don't you? Oh, good boy. Yeah. Good boy, good boy. You're doing so good. Here. Otis. Come through here. Oh, oh good boy. Oh, Oops. <laughs> that was my fault. No worries. You just like that because it's so easy to do. All right, Otis. Oh, come on, oh, Otis. He's another dog. Oh, suck. Here, come on, Otis. Oh, good boy. Yeah, he's good not afraid boy. to climb this up oh. here. Yeah, come on, boy. Oh, nice. Good boy, Otis. Come on. Here. All right, here. If you want to put your face in the hole on the other side, he will. Sure. Hey, Otis. Come on, Otis. Otis, come on, boy. Yeah, come on, Otis. Oh, I think you might have found another treat. <laughs> yeah, come on, Otis. You can do it, boy. Yeah. Come on. Come on, you're almost there, Otis. No. Otis. <laughs> Otis, boy. <laughs> Here, Otis. Otis, you want a jerky? Come on, Otis. He's <laughs> all for it. Yeah. <laughs> My man, you're doing so good. Oh, here, Otis. Otis, here, boy. Come this way. Yeah. Almost there. Come on, now this way, Otis. No, 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 this way. Come on, come on. He's like, the leaf's not giving me the tree. <laughs> oh, he almost made it there. Again? Oh, oh now he did it. <laughs> Oh, no, Otis, Otis, come on, boy. Come on, Otis. Come on, boy. Good boy, do you want that now? Yeah. You did great. Thank you. So Otis managed to make it through the agility course. He almost aced it, but except there were times where he had to turn back. <laughs> but right now, I'm ready to look for something to eat or drink, you know, a refreshment, if you will. So let's find something. Let's stop at Floyd's by the scene to get something to eat or drink here. So I decided to get some lunch. This here is avocado wedges with uh, ranch crema. Yeah, let me get this open here. There's the ranch crema right there. So let's try a sample of it right here. Got a good dollop right here. Very good. Mm. That's a nice <laughs> four and a half out of five right there. And I got here a new flavor from Dr. Pepper, strawberries and cream. So let's give this a try here. Oh, creamy. <laughs> and a nice strawberry taste to it, too. That is no keto, but taste-wise, like keto, it's a one out of five. But taste-wise, that's a five out of five right there. And right here is a puppy patty, a puppy burger for Otis. <laughs> here you go, boy.
Yeah. <laughs> Eat to your heart's content. <laughs> Maybe I should break a piece off. Otis. Hey, Otis boy. Oh. And it's gone. <laughs> Man, disappeared like magic. Poof, like a ghost. <laughs> uh, yeah, this has been quite a good day so far. Otis has been enjoying it. He's been meeting a whole bunch of dogs around here. And I've been having fun as well. I hope you all were having fun too. But ultimately, after everything is done here, we shall go home and wait for tomorrow. That will be coming up <laughs> once we reach home. So, yeah. But in the meantime, let's have as much fun as we can before the end. You just kind of wave around and twist it. So I'm deciding to get myself some cotton candy, blue raspberry flavored. And that is so cool. Of that little experiment there. So this is what I got as a result here. Blue raspberry cotton candy. Small, of course. So let's get this a sampling here. Mm. Very nice. That's a nice um, four out of five. Really tasty, really good. And it's definitely an old treat for us Americans here in the United States. The cotton candy. Yeah, so I'm going to finish my fill of this here and then we'll head home. This has been quite a fun and uh, enjoyable experience here, especially for Otis, who got to meet a whole bunch of dogs today. So, yeah. See you guys on the way home. Take a look at that last sight of wolf stock right here. It's now starting to become a little small because people and their four-legged friends are heading home. We are among them. We are among them. And especially for Otis Boy here, who is ready to hit the haystack. So, uh, let's go home. And here we are, back in the neighborhood again. Let's settle down at home. And here we are, back home, folks. I really hope that you enjoyed that little trip at the Wolfstock event by the bay. But uh, stay tuned for tomorrow for the last day of the air show that's going to happen at Arcata Airport, which we have been to a few times in the past, going to and fro Disneyland. So <laughs> it's going to be a blast. You'd be seeing a bunch of World War II fighters and bombers just putting pulling off a bunch of sick moves and maneuvers and all. <laughs> so, stay tuned for that <laughs> coming up tomorrow. Well, folks, that ends today. And moving on to tomorrow, we'll be going to the Rumble Over the Redwoods event, which deals with the aviation show regarding those World War II fighters and bombers. I think it's going to be a blast tomorrow. Oh, and also, <laughs> in future, possibly at around Christmas, or even in late winter, early spring, the next trip is going to be at Universal Studios Hollywood. It will happen in the future, late to winter, early spring, so keep in touch in regards to that. So, yeah, everything has been looking up lately. 
And I am proud of that idea. So, yeah. That's about it. See you all bright and early tomorrow morning. Good morning, everyone. And today, just hours from now at about between 9 and 10.30 a.m., we'll be heading out on um, at the bus stop to head over to the Eureka Arcata Airport in McKinleyville. Last night, I bought the ticket to take not just me, but all of you folks to the Rumble Over the Redwoods aerial event. That's where we'll be seeing a bunch of World War II bombers and a, and a bunch of World War II fighters performing aerial shows there. It will be just as fun as watching the Blue Angels do their aerial acrobatics at aerial show. So, <laughs> see you guys over at the airport. Well, here we go, guys. It's past, it's a little past 1130. And we'll be heading over to the airport. So here we are heading towards the airport, and as you can see, these cones have um, designated it as general admission, which that's exactly what I bought a ticket for, a general admission. Okay, so... And now... I'm gonna, like, let you off somewhere, like, right here. Okay. That's fine. So here we are, guys. At another part of the airport that we have never been to before. We only managed to make it as far as the terminal <laughs> to prepare to head out to Los Angeles to go to Disneyland. But here we're catching a chance to see some World War II fighters oh, and bombers. There are a little bit of some stumps in the walking path so be careful of those especially for myself. And uh, there's a bunch of circus tents right there. I think that's where we should go to. So <laughs> I'll see you guys over there. I love this angle here of the American flag being held by a tall crane. A mobile crane to be exact. And right there is a commuter plane. Of course, that plane is a lot smaller than the plane we would take to go to Los Angeles. This is more of a private plane, if anything. But this looks really nice out here. Oh, and right over there is a Coast Guard chopper. We do have a Coast Guard base here in Humboldt. And they're headquartered here in Eureka. Let's head inside. And not just one, but two of these monster aircraft. Bring back the sights of Korea and the beginning of the military generation in the Here we go. Oh yeah, they're coming. It's gonna be loud. Oh, 
here we go. Oh, this is gonna be loud. as a race car or even a commercial jet flying in the air without any disruption. That was amazing. Indeed. <laughs> and I think the car show is um, like the pre-show before we get to the real deal of uh, the planes here, which I believe is like the nice, fat, juicy part of that big, fat steak. So, yeah, let's see these planes in action. The sky is starting to clear up, and we can see that this Coast Guard chopper here has taken off and is preparing to fly around here. And that's San Francisco and Humble Bay. He's been flying for 17 years, has 3,650 hours. He loves to surf, loves mountain biking. Long walks on the beach. A lot of flight hours for Lieutenant. Yeah, he's uh, one of our flight examiners, instructor pilots. He's the best of the best. There's no doubt about it. Now, his cool pilot today is Lieutenant Angela Ortiz. She's uh, originally from Honolulu, uh, Hawaii. She's a uh, This guy has a smoke signal out. He's signaling where to land.
That looks, that looks sort of like a German Fokker from World War I. Oh, and it disappeared into the mist. Here it comes again. Whoa. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's coming down! Yeah. What's going on here? Oh, I can't see it. 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 I Rescue 82, Rescue 82, if you can wave him down, get him to see if he can get that aircraft on the ground in one piece. This has to be like a comedy. Like FAA representative, FAA representative, we have a situation. Someone bring them down. Not shoot them down, obviously. No, we don't want that. Just talk them down safely. No, no, you don't want to do that. The plane go. If you do that, go into a spin. <laughs> oh! What in the world? <laughs> well, that's very exciting. Alright, now what I need 
need you to do is get lined up just like Start running that super magnet up a little bit. He's coming in about 30 feet behind you. He's gonna pull you right down on top. Oh, come on! Okay, we'll try it again. We'll try it again. Mike, that didn't work. We're gonna have to go try it again. You want to head back down? We'll try it again. All right, Jeffrey, that looked pretty good. You're getting better at this. I like you the exact same thing you did. We're going to have to turn the super magnet. Mike, you're going to have to run it all the way to 11. I didn't know you banjo fingers knew about spinal tapping. He's running away from me. I'm going to have to have him turn around before too long. You will. Now, uh, it's going to pull all the rest of the fillings out of your teeth when he takes that super bag into 11 to be ready. Pull up! <laughs> Woo! Car top, go. Stop. All right, Mike, he's right there off your right side. He's going to saddle right on up here in a second. <laughs> Get through. Red, pull up a little bit. Don't hit the truck. There you go. All the way to 11, Mike, all the way to 11. Super Magnus, full blast. Successful! Yes! Help me track it through the sky. Gentlemen, Jim Pice, folks, from here, South Dakota.
to go. It's coming again. that has a representation in the board game of Axis and Allies. Two fighters at one. Oh, four. Oh, this is awesome. Dropping bombs. Design velocity of a captured captured German FW 190. It flew in August of 44. Here comes the P 38 Lightning. 24 squadrons have received the Bearcat. It's got that Hellcat R20 100 double waft engine with 2200 horsepower. But the Bearcat was 20 percent lighter. 30 percent better rate of flight. Or maybe that's not. Maybe that's the other. <laughs> Smaller design work better on carry and a limited storage area. That landing gear was very long to account for that 12 foot diameter propeller. Here you notice people are pulling 7.5 G's, about the same as a modern. This is awesome. It really is. In 46, the Bearcats had a time to climb to 10 This is probably one of the best shows you can see and a good way to get outdoors. Here we go again. The Curtis P-40 Warhawk wasn't the best fighter in the arsenal when the U.S. had World War II. 
Gentlemen, take a look from the Lost Coast Warbirds. by the way, is a World War II movie that dealt with the attack on Pearl Harbor from the Japanese perspective. Oh. That still looks cool. There are parachutists. Straight on down, accelerating 100 miles an hour for the break. This is a huge fill up for the air. And here comes the rest of the cavalry. Iconic J3 Cub, the most iconic light aircraft out there. On the right now. So close together. Indeed. <laughs> and we're back home. I hope that you enjoyed that amazing experience with the air show. Have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you all next time around. <laughs>